In this video, we are going to learn how to deal with a pagination, how to deal with a specific type of pagination, which is called load more button. So if you do not know me, I'm Franek and over a year I've worked for October. So maybe I have a couple of advice to give to you. But what exactly is a load more button? To be honest, it's a rare case. You are pretty unlikely to encounter it while doing web scraping, but sometimes it can happen and you have to be prepared. A lot more button, as its name suggests, is a lot more button at the bottom of the page. And you have to click on it each time in order to load more results. But do not worry, the process overall is pretty similar to a basic pagination. So a pagination with a next page button. By the way, if you want to try out Octopus, by clicking the link in the description, you have access to a 20% discount. But we are going to use a free version for this tutorial anyway. I've taken this example, kickstarter.com. I copy the URL and I paste it on Octopus. I click on start to create my task. And first thing first, we have to click on the load more button. And then we are going to see what's happening. Usually what we have to do is to click on the load more button. We check that the last element we are currently selected is an A tag because an A tag within the HTML document represents a URL and we do a loop click on the URL. Based on that, we might be able to click on the load more button every time. The problem is that with that particular example, the process is a bit different. We only have to click once on the load more button and then we scroll down to the bottom of the page in order to load more content. So this is a specific example, but we will see that by making a couple of changes, we should end up with the result we want. Anyway, let's get started. I simply copy and paste my matching X path and my click to paginate. I drag and drop the click to paginate outside my pagination loop. I paste my X path, I click on apply and let's add a one second timeout here. Okay, so for now we won't need our pagination, so I remove it. Okay, to verify whether everything works fine, I click on go to web page and I click on click to paginate. Let's rename it by click to load more. Things seems to work fine. Now I have to add a scroll item. Well, on October, there is no such thing as a scroll item, but there is something as a scroll loop. So I create a loop item and as a loop mode, I check scroll page. Let's set up the parameters. Default to the bottom of the page, okay. Let's repeat the process three times just for the example and each time we wait for, I don't know, about five seconds. And I rename the action. I don't have to rename the action, but it's just uh, to make things clearer. Okay, and outside our scroll page, we are going to extract some basic data in order to make sure that the process is working. So I add another loop. This time it's going to be a loop item, meaning a variable list. I paste my X path. So if you do not know what an X path is, I have made an entire a video about the topic. Same thing as before, each time I'm creating a new element, I'm adding a one second timeout. Sometime it might be more. And now I have selected 24 items. See, it's written here. Good. But now what happens if I scroll down to the bottom of the page one more time and I select the item? Now I have access to 36 items. So that's interesting because it means each time we are scrolling down to the bottom of the page or that we are clicking on the load more button, we are able to get an additional of 12 items of 12 content. That's good. What remains to do is to extract the data. I select the title, I click on select text, and now I have my extract data here. So let's refresh it. And as you can see, I have access to the title. Sounds good. Now I can click on run and see if everything works fine. Standard mode. So you might end up with another um, layout, with another pop-up, another tab. By clicking on the event log, I can see what's happening right now. Data list, meaning data which has been extracted. All that remains to do is to export your data in a CSV or Excel file. And things looks good. This is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, you can subscribe. There is nothing else to see. Bye.